Hey everyone, have I here bring a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle in this video, still affected by the passing of Akira Toriyama. So I got to thinking, what are my favorite moments in Dragon Ball history? And I wanted to compile a list using Dokkan art and animations, but I found this task to be just extremely difficult. So I was thinking, okay, top five, I pretty have that solidified, but I wanna maybe bring some other moments in. So I was thinking 10, I was like, well, I can't forget about these other ones, so maybe 15. So I finally just said, hey, you know what, let me do 20. At this moment in time, what are my favorite moments? Because probably any other given day, I've pro you know put some other moments in here. Um, and your list is probably gonna be a lot different as well. So I would love to hear what your top favorite moments are uh, in Dragon Ball history in the comment section below. But also, I put some parameters in here just to make it a lot easier for, for me and my <laughs> and my thought process was no movies, right? Of course, we had uh, Broly, we had um, Superhero, we have the, all the other old old movies as well. So I just like, you know, let me clear that out. Let's just focus on Dragon Ball. Let's focus on um, Z, GT, and Super, right? And then also no small moments. So give you an example. Badman pink shirt Vegeta, one of my favorite moments, but doesn't really move the the story along or really any plot device there. Um, there is a little bit when it comes to the instant transmission with um, Goku basically taking um, Master Roshi's sunglasses, give it the Krillin, and I think that's a very funny moment. So uh, I could have probably put in instant transmission, uh, but maybe not that moment with the sunglasses with Krillin, right? So anyway. So, quote unquote, no small moment, but there are some things I did bring up that's still part of the story, but you'll, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> so, again, I had to, had to roll certain things out. Also, caveat here, I'm a Vegeta fanboy, all right? I think Vegeta is the best character in Dragon Ball, um, the best arcs, just the best character overall. So, just keep that in mind, right? So, with that, let's go ahead and dive in. First and foremost with number 20. So number 20, and, and shout outs to Dokkan Doc Wiki. They have the animation loaded on their website, uh, on super attacks, on transformations and things of that nature. So uh, anyway, um, very, very beneficial when I'm doing this. So um, number 20 is kind of A and B, right? It's uh, 20A, 20B, and that's basically Vegito. So both the fusion, Right, so both the fusion of um, of Super Vegito, that moment in the Buu Saga, things of that nature, I think that's a very important piece. I'm just not a huge fusion fan, I, I guess. I I kind of noticed that while doing this, and uh, and then the other the other time, of course, is Vegito Blue. So I kind of just said, you know what, let's go ahead and just say fusion of Vegito as 20A 20. -A, 20 -B. Uh, 20A and 20B, so there's a transformation here. So I think these two are important moments. You can see the, just the animation differences when it comes to Dokkan here with uh, with Worldwide Celebration Vegito Blue and then the OG uh, yeah, Super Super Vegito there. So uh, looks great. Well, this is actually when he's just Vegito and then he goes Vegito Blue, right? So anyway, this is the 20 spot, all right? Another thing I found out while doing this was there's a lot of moments that Dokkan still hasn't done yet. So first one that comes to mind is actually from, from, uh, oops, actually this is in the wrong spot, uh, wrong spot, wrong spot should be right here. So there we go. Is, is this right here is the introduction of Goku Black. We have Goku Black base form things of that nature, but we don't have like any animation showing the moment when Goku Black was revealed right in that fiery background everything there i thought this was one of the most pivotal moments of dragon ball super because uh, a lot of mystery was involved everyone was like what is going on here looks like goku and then of course the story unfolded from there so i think this is a very very important piece of super and for some reason we don't have an entrance animation for goku black they missed the boat on that in the worldwide celebration so we have number 19 as the goku black intro or the introduction of goku black as one of my favorite moments in dragon ball history so number 18 is kind of a quick moment again we don't have this as an animation but it's uh, the super saiyan bargain sale <laughs> so another comedic moment and i guess it was translated in word for word from the JP dub, right? It was when Trunks was 
working out with Vegeta, and he's like, oh man, this is difficult. And then he goes, just let me go super. And Vegito's like, what's going on here? It's a Super Saiyan bargain sale, right? Because Goten could go Super Saiyan as well. So I think this is a, a very important moment, knowing that the hybrid Saiyans of Trunks and Goten and even Gohan, of course, has even higher potential, right? As we, we kind of saw there. But, of course, the uh, the hybrid Saiyans of, uh, of Dragon Ball aren't really as... Uh, focused in fighting and developing their skills as Vegeta and Goku is, right? So coming in number 18 is the Super Saiyan Bargain Sale. So 17 was what you just saw not that long ago, was uh, from GT. So one of the things here you're going to find out is GT and Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, I still, you know, love the original Dragon Ball, but there wasn't any moments from from that storyline that got into the top 20 for some reason i just it, nothing stood out to me so just kind of keep that in mind so you're not going to see any dragon ball moments unfortunately uh, on there i can probably think of a few uh but i just didn't add them on here so coming in number um 17 was actually either the fusion you can say the the, the fusion of uh of gogeta right super saiyan 4 gogeta which was an amazing moment here against omega shenron uh, so i'll go ahead and play it and, and we don't have sound on this, which I think it's fine. Um, you just have the the animation here. Goku's face looks a little weird, right? <laughs> so the fusion into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But I think the coolest moment uh, during this fight here was, of course, let me let this play out here, was, of course, um, Big Bang Kamehameha. This and and this original animation is pretty awesome. Um, this was really cool. So, and this animation is really cool as well. Big Bang Kamehameha. Um, we still don't know if this is like the most powerful move ever, but uh, probably up there, right? Probably up there. So I think that's a really really cool moment in Dragon Ball history. So, coming in at number sixteen, where I'm at right here. This might be a long video here. Uh, they don't have this moment either, is when, or animated at least, is Ultimate Gohan powering up. I don't think so. You know what? I'm, there might be. Here, give, give me a second here. I'm going to pause because I'm just thinking now I can, I can use Tech tech Gohan. Does Tech Gohan have the animation? Give me a second. Aha, see? There's where I messed up here. Here we go. So we do have the animation for Ultimate Gohan here, I guess. Is this right what happened hmm and get the clothes okay yeah right here so i think ultimate gohan is one of the coolest characters uh from the majin buu saga right the super bang there, everything. Yeah, it doesn't have that moment, though, when he's, like, powered up, when he's up against Boo, back-to-back -back against Boo, right? I think that moment is absolutely, absolutely incredible. So I think, uh, for me, Ultimate Gohan back-to-back -back with with Boo was uh, was top-notch. Really, a really amazing moment there. So um, also part of the Boo saga, also part of the Boo saga here is... Majin Vegeta, not only the kind of creation of Majin Vegeta, right, uh, but this moment here, which is so wasted. This is so wasted. How is this not a standalone LR, Dokkan? Um, and we actually don't even have this moment animated when he just viciously kills innocent people in World Tournament, right? So we have this finishing skill here, which is Vegeta, like, saying, you know, I'm not going to listen to you, Bobbity, right? So, so it's not the same, right? It's this moment here. Um, but Dokkan, I need World Tournament Majin Vegeta Extreme Class <laughs> standalone here, right? Uh, I need that, need that unit because this card art here, <laughs> probably the most wasted card art in the game in my opinion look at this look at that it's amazing um so that's coming in at number 15 majin vegeta kills and uh coming in at number 14 also we don't have the animation to this either is when goku went super saiyan 4 for the first time right the whole 
um, scenario with Pan, everything there. I, I think that moment is such a beautiful moment. And then, of course, the creation of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. That's a Gogeta. Goku. Super Saiyan 4 Goku um, is a very pivotal moment in, in GT. Probably the best moment uh, in GT going Super Saiyan 4 because the, the design in it itself, one of the best designs. And uh, just, again, also uh, all around incredible when it comes to um to comes to goku's form of super saiyan 4 just i think just looks great and we don't have an entrance animation i would think we would get an entrance animation in you know, hopefully sometime in the future here so that's coming in at number 14 uh hurry how long is this already i'm right at 10 minutes all right i'll try to speed up a little bit here let's go ahead and go number uh, 13 here, and that's uh, Piccolo saves Gohan. So I think this is a very, very important moment in Dragon Ball history. I think this is a moment that um, this is why I call father and son Piccolo and Gohan, right? So, uh, yes, Goku sacrificed himself in the beginning of this, and I, I think that's a cool moment here, but, but not as good as this moment. So, um, one of my favorite favorite moments in Dragon Ball history here, and of course, you know Gohan powers up and takes on uh, takes on Nappa. So uh, very impressive, but very also moving moving moment here um, with Piccolo. So yeah, yeah, good stuff. Look at this, look at this new animation. Dokkan, Dokkan's not going anywhere. All right, so that's number 13. Number 12 uh, has to go to... That's my Bulma, right? So that's my Bulma here. I think it's this one. Well, where is it? It's uh, transformation. Here we go. So that's my Bulma where Goku or Vegeta passes or passes Goku for a brief second using Super Saiyan 2 to surpass Super Saiyan 3. And... Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think every Vegeta fan was like, "Yes, this is what we're talking about." That's my Bulma. So coming in number twelve, that's my Bulma. Let's go ahead and dive into number eleven. Number eleven, there's um, a couple things that the reason why I have this, you know, high up here was, you know, it's a culmination of that first part of the Saiyan saga and Goku training and doing all this stuff, him arriving back on earth and then, and then doing Kaioken for the first time. I think this was such a cool moment. Um, uh, unfortunately the, the animation doesn't show like Nappa there. It's like to see Nappa getting thrown over, but that was like, Oh my goodness. Like Goku is at a crazy, crazy high level and just, mop the floor with Nappa and, and basically one one move here so uh, I think a very cool moment one of the most epic moments and uh, that's why it's right under the top 10 because the the beginning of the top 10 is another moment that we don't have in Dokkan so Dokkan take note um this was I found this on Twitter somewhere and this was great by the way is kind of a culmination again it's like the halfway point to the Namek Saga, where Goku is working out, working out in uh, the the high gravity, and he arrives on Namek, and this epic shot of him with the Senzu, Senzu beans on his belt coming out of the, of the spacecraft. It's epic. It's one of the best moments in in Dragon Ball here. So, and we don't have a card here. This whoever drew this or made this, shout outs to you. This should be something that we have. For Dokkan and a, a nice moment, a good like support unit or something like that. So I uh, love to see that happen. So that's number ten. Uh, number nine is again also Dokkan. We kind of don't have this either. Is the whole transformation of Super Saiyan three Goku, right? So Super Saiyan three Goku, that moment is absolutely epic right but we only have this portion of it right we don't have goku like explaining here super saiyan one super saiyan two things of that nature just this moment here when he goes super saiyan three um easily in a top 10 i would say for a lot of people i have them at the number nine spot but uh dokkan still hasn't made this something special which i think it should be so anyway we are getting a easy a two to a Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but uh, that's coming in at the number nine spot. 
All right, number eight. Uh, man, I just realized again, like there's a bunch of these moments I have here that aren't really animated with the entrance animation because in entrance animations, you know, hasn't been around for that long, right? So, and that is, of course, the first time we see UI. So the reason why I have Super Saiyan Blue Cow Ken on here is, of course, we do the spirit bomb. So this is right before he goes into um, UI, right? But there's this moment here. Um, what is it? Episode 90 something. Uh, captivated the whole entire world, right? So, you know, with Goku facing behind, like, okay, brand new form. And his form was absolutely incredible. So Goku, Ultra Instinct, Omen, Sign, whatever you call it. Uh, we don't technically have an entrance animation for this. I, again, I don't think. I'm trying to remember on some of these spots here. I don't know. I don't think so, right? So uh, this could be something we can see in the future. But yeah, with Goku, you know, facing behind, like the, the, the let me see, the this one right here, right? So we have this card art here, but we don't have this animated, right? We don't have this animated. When he turns around and it's Ultra Instinct. So uh, come in number eight is the uh, introduction to Ultra Instinct. So, and of course, being a Vegeta fan, the one that surpasses Ultra Instinct is the introduction of Evolution Vegeta, right? So, oh man, I was so happy when this this moment happened where Vegeta says, I can find my own way, right? This is my thing. I'll, I'll do it my way. And he goes Evolution with that deep, dark blue. And of course, on top of that, this is like moments right afterwards, is when Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and then Evolution Vegeta comes across to fight Jiren. Amazing, amazing moment. Which one is that right here? Is it this one here or is it the 18? Um, right here, right? So this this moment's just absolutely incredible. So that is coming in the number seven spot. So um, let's go ahead and move into the six. Six is... OG, it's old school, it's, it's more nostalgia to me than, you know, the new super stuff, and I just realized I have a lot of super stuff on here, is um, is when Vegeta went for Super Saiyan for the first time, right? So when Vegeta went Super Saiyan for the first time, the whole story there, then he comes in, saves Goku, and then he just mops the floor uh, with 19, and then he does the first time we get to see the Big Bang attack, right? So... Uh, I think the animation of this is kind of rough, so I'll try to pull this up here. So, um, a, an incredible moment, and for me as a Vegeta fan, I thought this was absolutely epic. And yes, unfortunately, it goes against you know 18 and uh, <laughs> gets wrecked. But hey, he had his moment here, all right. He had his moments here, so don't take that away from me there. But uh, uh, you know, I just realized no mushroom cloud. Is there a mushroom cloud? No mushroom cloud. Come on. So I think Super Saiyan Vegeta deserves a entrance animation when he goes Super Saiyan for the first time. Again, I'm trying to think if we actually have that moment here. I don't think so. And uh, and then a mushroom cloud, Big Bang attack is what we need here, Dokkan. Um, let's go ahead and go into the top five. So the top five for me, it's pretty much been this for a very long time. So it was very easy for me to do the top five. It was just the rest of it. I was like, okay, do I move this here? Do I move that there? Is UI like top five? No, UI is not top five for me. Um, you know, cause there's some OG nostalgia stuff that it's going to be hard to overcome. Uh, but so I put evolution and UI kind of in between like Super Saiyan 3 Goku and, and and Vegeta here. So it's coming in number five. I would say a lot of people's number like two or even one, right, is uh, favorite moments is Gohan going Super Saiyan 2, right? So this is, you know, epic, right? Epic. And Dokkan did a great job, right? So um, when he goes Super Saiyan 2, Cell's looking at him going, what's going on? And just the rest of the fight is purely amazing but how they did all this again it is absolutely one of the best moments um and i would say some of you guys the best moment in um dragon ball history so coming in number five top five is gohan going super saiyan 2 again being a vegeta fanboy coming in at number four is final flash man come on come on i'm super vegeta is great but final flash here man when he did this the cell perfect cell Right, yes, he didn't win, things of that nature, but this was epic. 
epic, the struggle, the power, the concentration, everything, and it just, you know, final flash, and it's just amazing. That's what we all want to see when it comes to Dragon Ball, is these beam attacks, <laughs> and uh, this one was one of the most epic ones um, of all time, right? Speaking of beam clashes, there's one in particular that I think is the most important beam clash ever in Dragon Ball history and that's during the Saiyan Saga and that's Goku, Vegeta, Gatling Gun, Kaioken times four, Kamehameha, there it is. Let's watch both. Let's just watch both. So I'm seeing is this uh, right here? Yeah. So Kaioken, um, this is times four. Ah, this is so good. And and the Saiyan Saga not having their dude like this is a yellow coin LR. This should be a Dokkan Fest LR, man. It's hmm, criminal, criminal. How important I think this is. How epic this was. And we got to see Vegeta as well. Uh, got like gun here. It's just so important, and it's I don't know. It's uh, interesting how they treated the Saiyan Saga, and that is my favorite saga period uh even though number two and number one aren't from the same saga okay so so let's talk about that in a second so coming in at number three is uh kamehameha gatling gun beam clash yeah just it's it's one of the most important if in my opinion the most important beam clash in dragon ball history so coming in number two you, it, you just can't you can't make this like not the top three Right, and that's Goku going Super Saiyan for the first time, right? So, um, Super Saiyan in general um, is probably one of the coolest transformations ever, right? And we get to see it here very quickly, uh, but, you know, with the death of Krillin, with the emotion, with, like, how is Goku gonna ever defeat Frieza after a spirit bomb? And then you go, hey, I just changed my hair. And uh, let's get going here, right? So, first tra transformation of Super Saiyan, uh, the legendary Super Saiyan uh, with Goku in the Namek Saga is absolutely number two. So, if you guys don't know who's, what's number one, and I'm a Vegeta fan, you should be ashamed of yourself. You know what's number one, right? You know what's one number one. That's going to be Final Explosion. And really, even the whole um, portion of this moment right here which this this unit in of itself um does so well right it's uh vegeta's resolve here with calling trunks over embracing him basically for the first time and even he even in majin form he is so strong broke free of Bobbity's spell and now sees self-sacrifice as something you talk about the arc of this guy right talking about you know, being introduced from the Saiyan Saga and all the way through to this moment here, being truly, truly a good guy and going final explosion. It's like, man, how, how can you not be a Vegeta fan? Or I think he just has the best arc, period. Period. Look at this. Just amazing. They try to recreate this in Super. It just didn't do it for me, right? When, when he goes final explosion, blue. Uh, I think he should have went like blue, blue, but he went, you know, this color here. Um, I don't know. I, I thought it was okay. That's why he's not on the list here in the top 20. Uh, it was trying to, you know, capture some of the nostalgia in the moment here, but there's just no way. The first time you ever saw this, you're like, oh my goodness, I can't believe Vegeta is doing this. It's the best. It's the best. So um, that's number one Final Explosion, Majin Vegeta. Uh, no doubt about it. So that is my top 20 list using, and again, shout outs to Dokkan.wiki for uh, for their website for me to do this. It was hard. I have, I don't know, so many tabs. I'm just pointing up at my computer here. I don't know how many tabs I have, but uh, it was a lot. And uh, I'm just going to keep this on here because this is so good. Uh, <laughs> so there you have it. Number one, uh, I'm not going to go through them again, but uh, if you, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video here. Let me know what your top 20 moments. Again, this is really for um, Akira Toriyama. And uh, again, we'll miss you. Thank you. 
And uh, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on dokani. Catch you next time. Later.